Good morning, you guys. Um, welcome to Tuesday's devotional. Um, today we're doing James 5, 1 to 6. Let's start today's devotional, shall we? Dear Lord, strengthen my ability to hear you knock. Soften my heart that I may open the door. Give me the faith to fully rely on you and the determination to fight my urge to be self-sufficient. I know life with all of you and less of me is better. May I be continuously reminded of your goodness. May I never forget to call on you and turn to your word for the guidance you have provided me. Amen. So, James 5, uh, chapter 1 to 6. Now listen, you rich people. Weep and wail because of the misery that is coming on you. Your wealth has rotted and moths have eaten your clothes. Your gold and silver are corroded. Their corrosion will testify against you and eat your flesh like fire. You who have hoarded wealth in these last days. Look, the wages you failed to pay the workers who mowed your fields and cried against you. The cries of harvesters have reached the ears of the Lord Almighty. You have lived on the earth in luxury and self-indulgence. You have fattened yourself in the day of slaughter. You have condemned and murdered the innocent one who was not opposing you. So this one seems pretty straightforward, right? Um, it's talking about rich people, riches, right? Um, I think that one thing that we need to remember when we read this is that um, money is not the problem. Uh, it's we need money, right? We need money to live. Um, we need money and, and sometimes having more money is awesome because we can give it to other people and, um, we can provide for people and, um, money is not the problem. What the problems here is when you love money more than you love God. It's when you let money, um, be an idol in your life. In the first Timothy six ten, it talks about the love of money that leads to evil. So this verse this section of verses, really, um, it says, this is a warning to all Christians who are tempted to adopt worldly standards rather than God's standards. Um, you can read more about that in Romans 12. As well as an encouragement to all those who are oppressed by the rich. So you can read Matthew 6, 19 to 21 to see what Jesus says about riches. So, um, yeah, to me, this was pretty straightforward. Just a good reminder. Like, I think when we read these, we can be like, okay, sick. So like, don't want a lot of money. Awesome. But I think that, um, for us, maybe ask yourself today, like, what is that thing that, um, you're trying to adopt? That's a worldly standard rather than adopting God's standards. Or what is that thing that you're valuing more than you're valuing God? Um, or what is that thing that you're you're chasing that will eventually just corrode and um, not be eternal, right? So for some of us, it's money. For some of us, it's other things. So don't just read this verse and go, oh, well, I'm not rich, so this isn't my problem. Because we all are wealthy um, in, and we, we chase after different things, right? So... When you're asking yourself, like, what is this verse teaching about me? Really think about beyond just money. Um, what are earthly things that you are chasing or that you are seeking satisfaction from? So, um, yeah. That's that. Um... Yeah, I don't really have anything else to say about this verse, honestly. Um, I want you guys, as always, ask this yourself. What is this verse teaching you about um, God? What does this teach you about people? Um, and what is it teaching you about yourself? How can you grow? What is the Holy Spirit telling you? Um, I would really encourage you, since it was a short one today, to go and read um, 1 Timothy 6.10, uh, Romans 12. 1 to 2, and Matthew 6, 19 to 21 for further reading on this. So, hope you guys have an awesome day, and I'll see you on Thursday.